Okay. Sorry, let's focus. Maybe. Um, so, it has been well over a month since I, well, no, almost a month since I purchased this, the NARS. Um, what is this even called? Shoot. Um, <laughs> Radiant Cream Compact Foundation, and I have the shade Medium 1, which is called Punjab. And I've had this almost a month, and I have not even touched it. Not used it. Do you see this? I have not used it. Why? I don't know. Um, maybe because it was so beautiful. I don't know. Stupid excuse. But I wanted to put it on, and I wanted to do it like first impressions, because I don't really ever do that, and it could be fun. So um, I've primed my face. I moisturized, primed, and I used the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer, because I just filmed a video talking about stuff that I use for special occasions, and that's something I use for special occasions. Um, so my skin is already like smooth texture-wise, which I think will kind of make a difference, really, with any foundation. So um, and I'm going to take an Eco Tools. I'm going to get a buffer brush, too, just in case. Um, I'm going to use this, I think. The e.l.f. powder brush. Yeah, it's my buffer of choice. We'll see. Yeah. So let's start. I have the shade Medium 1 Punjab, like I said. Oh, I don't want to, like, ruin it. It's so pretty, but okay. I'm dying and melting. Okay. Oh. That really is emollient, huh? Okay. So, oh, shoot. So we'll just start. This is the closest match. I mean, this basically perfectly matched me in the store, except the only thing I have with Punjab is it tends to run a little peachy, tone-wise. Um, and I don't think that looks super natural, but um, it's a thing. So, talk about, it goes on, like, as you can see, I'm blending it with just this brush, so, um, I'd say it looks like right now with, like, a thin layer, or a fairly thin layer. It's getting about, I don't know, I'd say medium coverage. You can still see, like, Obviously, I have some, like, hyperpigmentation. I actually think I have a little bit of a pimple right now, so that's nice. Um, but with a thin layer on my cheeks, I really didn't go over everything, anything more than once. Um, it is giving me a nice little kind of base. I'm not really too concerned with my forehead because I... Um, don't really need foundation on my forehead, and why put it there if you don't need it, but just for testing sakes. Let's go with the chin too. Touch up on the nose. So I have the mirror too, because I'm using my mirror right now for lighting. <laughs> it's college, what do you want me to do? Um, it looks pretty undetectable, honestly. I can't... hold on. I can't actually tell that there's anything on my face. Did I... did I even put anything on? I mean, obviously there's, like, coverage and stuff, but I can't, I can't see it on my skin. I, hold on, this has got to be some kind of witchcraft. Are you telling me it's a cream foundation in a compact, nonetheless? not even like a liquid cream in a tube that is undetectable. I mean, if you told me the Bobbi Brown, I was using the Bobbi Brown one, I would believe that, but that one tends to give more coverage, so this one is not as high in coverage, but it looks just as natural. Let me try to like clean buffing brush. I 
not very much came off either, so it's pretty well worked into the skin. Let me just try to like spot conceal something. We'll go with this big honking mama. I need a smaller brush. Well, I'm too lazy to get another brush. But I would imagine if you just worked with it, the consistency might be a little too smooth for it to really work as a spot concealer. Like the Bobbi Brown one tends to be a little bit thicker. And the Cover FX one is way waxier, and so that one is more difficult to use to blend, but it covers a lot better. Um, I would imagine you could probably build it up. Let's take some underneath the eyes. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, flamingos and alpacas, whoever you are, gender neutral. I don't I don't know the technical gender terminology. I should probably should, but whoever you identify as, this is nice. And the thing is, when you look at it in the compact, it doesn't look like it's going to match as well as it does. But then again, it also doesn't, it's not super heavy or waxy in coverage or anything like that. So that might be a factor. I like this. I mean, okay, it, it was, it's NAR, so I have already like high expectations, which I guess can be a good thing anytime I test a new NARS product is my expectation of the product is really high and if it doesn't meet it then I'm disappointed whereas other brands that I'm not too involved with, like emotionally I guess, um, my expectations are not usually as high. So this is definitely living up to expectations, surpassing them even. I don't really know what I expected with this. Um, so let's kind of recap. So as you can see, I haven't set with any powder or anything like that. It's, um, I'd say satin. It, it almost looks like sheer glow foundation. Not as glowy as the pure radiant tinted moisturizer, even though this has the same name. Um, gives about the same coverage as sheer glow, maybe not as much, which is surprising. Maybe in between sheer glow and, um, pure radiant. And it has like the blendability of like, of the tinted moisturizer or of like a powder because it just goes on and it's the convenience of a powder so when they told me at the store that this really was a combination of all of their foundations the best qualities out of each I didn't really believe them but I'm kind of seeing it now that that is very true <coughs> excuse me very impressed by this um, I don't honestly think I would apply with a sponge. I think that might be a bit much. But um, this brush is working out really well. This Eco Tools regular foundation brush. Something small I think would be nice, but I definitely wouldn't go in with something like this. It's just too big maybe to blend everything, but I, I'm not a buffer brush person, personally. If you are, hey, good for you. Um, but yeah, I coverage medium. I wouldn't... I probably wouldn't use this to count or, you know, rely on for concealing purposes, but it will cover, you know, sort of like semi-minor flaws. Um, and it looks nice. It, it looks invisible on the skin. Can you guys see? I mean, I know it's like not super high quality, but let me get closer. I'm going to do like a... I hope the camera focused. It's practically undetectable, which is a big deal. Shoot, you never find foundations like that even anymore. Even like tin and moisturizers can sometimes look heavy. Very nice. 
Mm, I want to say 9 out of 10. The only thing I would say is like I wish it had a little bit more coverage. That way you can control it. Because when something's full coverage, you can control the amount of like... Especially with a cream, you can just apply it in a different way to get a sheer coverage. But you can use a dense directional brush to get more coverage if you need. But this is sort of like... And I used a foundation brush, which usually gives you maximum coverage. Um, I would probably just up the coverage a little bit more, and I think it would be perfect. But really, the fact that it's undetectable and it's just, it looks super natural, A+. plus. Bravo, NARS. Good job. Um, I know that I, like, love NARS, and I went to this boutique and stuff, and I bought this compact, or the foundation there before it was released, but I'm not affiliated with them. I don't, I hope no one thinks that I am, but... Honestly, I'm just a consumer paying the full amount. I don't get a discount. I'm not part of their, like, artist programmer or anything. Obviously, I'm not a makeup artist. Um, but honestly, that's, like, my honest opinion. Shoot, yeah. I'm liking this. Okay, I'm gonna go get a burrito. Bye. Ah, real quick, I just read something from the little insert, the little booklet inside the, um container that or the box that the foundation came with and my lighting's weird um but what the booklet said is it's the artist tip is that you can use the compact to touch up your sheer glow foundation throughout the day and when i was looking at the ingredients there's a lot of silicone in the um the first ingredient is like dimethicone i'm pretty sure I, I, at least i remember um in the cream foundation and there's a lot of silicones in the nars sheer glow which is why it blend so beautifully, but um, I think they designed the formula to be like consistent with the sheer glow. So that's so awesome. So thumbs up to NARS. Good job.